Right, boys, listen up. In the beginning, Gork and Mork needed some fighty lads. So they did some stuff, and their orcs appeared. Some of them were runts, but there was lots of boys too. Some of them were big, and some of them were weird, but they was all mean and green. Except the red ones. And the biggest and greenest get around is the big boss. And we's gotta listen to him, cause he's taking us on the great war. That's where all the best fighting is. We's gonna use all the shiny new trucks and shooters to crump the you war. We don't need that junk. Shut up, you git. <laughs> As I was saying, the other lads have their shinies and their know-whats, but they don't know how to use them proper. Not like us. We've got our stickers and our squeaks. We're gonna drag them down and crump them good with hands and teeth and all that fancy truck gubbins. That's why we're the biggest and we're the strongest. In any clan, we're in. Saddle up, beast snaggers. The war's coming! I still cannot get over how hyped I am for the green tide to hit. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Let me say thank you to everyone who came to my live stream. We had a great time as we normally do. The reveals were probably one of the best reveals we've had in the past couple of weeks when it comes to 40k content. We've got a new Sister of Battle Tank which we'll be discussing. Uh, we got some new Necromunda stuff but the really standout thing for me is the Orc teaser that we've just had. It seems that the Orcs are getting like a basically a bunch of new models and this is what we're going to do now we're just going to go in and break that trailer down and speak about some of the units that potentially may be hitting the tabletop because it looks absolutely fantastic so as you can see with the image in the background this is the model that they actually shown off i was hoping for more but again this is a teaser they actually did say at the end there's going to be an even bigger preview coming within the next couple of weeks so fingers crossed that some demonic primarchs may pop up in that one but again let's get to that another time let's focus on these new orc models so these are apparently called Snaggers. It says meet the beast Snaggers. So I don't know if this is like a new orc clan or is this a new warband or something like that. Orc plays out there. Have you ever heard of the Snaggers before? Um, from the art that we can see in the trailer, I think it actually hinted to a potential huge amount of models coming for this warband now. For example, if you look at the artwork in the back of the video now, I think these are previewing some of the new models that are coming. Now, we've kind of already seen this model in the background because we just looked at it before, but it's different in some type of ways. It's got like a mechanized arm on the squig slash pig thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. I know they called it something, but I completely forgot its name. Um, some of the riders, one has a spear. One of them has like a mechanized arm and he's got like a, a huge knifey power claw. Um, the or grot on the back is holding some grenades uh, it seems uh, it seems to be so maybe like these are going to be like a multi-part box where maybe you get like two or three in that box set and that the, you know the, that type of unit where um, like a fast attack unit where they can run in and start daiquiring and punching things in the face as orcs normally do and the next piece of artwork shows off a new pain boy for me I think well that's why I'm taking it as it may not be a pain boy but the way I see it he's got this, this big backpack on it looks like he's like draining the squig on his backpack from fluid and he maybe he's injecting it into certain things it could be another thing but for me I'm just saying a pain boy at this moment in time he's got like a nice mechanized arm he's got like a, one of those like a welder face mask shields over his face and stuff so uh, yeah it looks really cool now this next piece is where it starts getting really exciting for me because you can see like one of these squig pig things is actually pulling like a, a battle barge of some sort it's like full of orcs and grots in the background it's kind of like a Mad Max S type of model but instead of being motor
motorized with like wheels and stuff. It's motorized with these squig pigs. Um, that big gun on the front. Uh, the, again, the, the gun in the middle and the guy at the top who looks like he's like, going that direction and stuff like that. Also, at the front of that, there seems to be a single rider on one of these squig pigs, and he's got like his gun and his like mechanized arm again. So again, as I said with the other models, maybe they're going to be selling these in like a bundle of like you know two or three man squads, and um, that's how you get there fast, a fast attack combat and you go in and start dacrin and stuff now i just want to focus on this model because i actually think we've already seen this model and shout out to a chap called magos over on my discord because he's the one that pointed this out now this pose actually looks like the pose that they've already shown off in a video i'm going to put the little video in the background now so you can see it but do you think that pose is that model it's got like his hand in the air with his chain axe and he's also got that same type of gun as well so i think that model is actually this model which confirms that again this pose is going to be a new model for this orc clan also what do you think about this new mega armored orcs incoming or is this something that they've already done? I'm not too sure. I don't really follow the Orc range that much. But to me, this really stood out because I don't think I've ever seen this type of model before. The thing that really like blows my mind is uh, the Grot on top of it having his own little Daka gun. I don't think I've seen that with an Orc model. And again, the whole thing of this teaser trailer to me is standing out of new models that potentially could come. So along with like maybe these new mega armored knobs and along with all like the squig pigs and everything that's coming along with them, um, we actually have a, a mega armored knobs and maybe some new boys and stuff to go along with it because i know that's what a lot of people have been wanting new boys this could be like one of the biggest orc refreshes that we've ever had or one of the biggest xenos refreshes that we've ever had maybe it's going to be similar to like what the necron's got and finally, it seems that we're getting a new war boss. And what a bloody war boss this chap looks like. Look at the size of that bloody sword. It actually reminds me of the um, Warhammer Online model, like the exclusive model if you ever bought the limited edition. There was like this orc warlord or orc boss in there. And he had like a little um, uh, a goblin on his shoulder pad. This reminds me of that. But instead of that, it's like one of those uh, squig things on his shoulder. And it's got like its own uh, bottler. He's got like a massive power claw, that bloody huge like mammoth skull on his shoulder looks absolutely epic i i really hope that this is a massive model when i say a massive model i hope it's like kind of gas skull size i'm sure it's not going to be gas skull because gas skull apparently is the biggest and the bestest but maybe like you know on that type of level i don't want it to be like a small model i want these war bosses to be really big intimidating big chunks of just daca that just stand out in your armor now moving on from the green tide we are at the sisters now there's been a lot of talk about the sister stuff because of course we know there's a lot of new stuff coming for the sisters we have the new little suits they've got they've got the new palantine and they teased a new tank in the build up to this event and they revealed the new tank and this is the brand new sister of battle tank and they actually call this a battle line tank so this is going to be their main actiony tank in my opinion now, the name of this tank is called the Castigator, and as I mentioned, they did call this, like, the main battle tank when it comes to the Sisters now. Now, I don't really play Sisters. I've only really played Sisters once. Sorry, I played against Sisters once, and I didn't really understand how their army worked. I know, like, they had a lot of artillery when they played me, and they took me out. But is this something, like, what Sisters were looking forward to? Do you welcome this tank into your arsenal or did you expect something else in terms of a sister vehicle did would you would you want something else or do you think this will fit nicely into your army i know there was a bit of a debate in my chat like a lot of people didn't like it i know a lot of people saying it's just basically like a hand-me-down from the space marines <laughs> now that we have all our grav technology you guys are getting like all our like uh, like our rhinos and you're just putting like battle turrets on it i personally look at it and i think it's a fantastic model the sisters the way they redesigned the sisters i think it's fantastic in terms of rules and how to play sister armor i don't really know because again i've never really played them so i don't know if this is going to be like a tank that everyone is going to be bringing and which is much needed in a sister force and the last bit of love we got for Warhammer 40,000 is the Admech. So they got a brand new model confirmed, which is called a Skatari Marshal. So this is the big boy we're seeing in the background now. Again, this was teased a couple of times. He's got his little um, rod for hitting robots in the head to make them martial things i suppose he's got his nice little uh, nice little pistol and of course the most important feature about this model he's stood on a rock i said this when i was live streaming i think my next big video is going to be a tier list video on which are the best models that i have won for 
placed on a rock. Also part of this uh, whole show and uh, reveal, we got the next codex. The next codex is going to be uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus. The actual art on the front of this codex is probably one of the best art pieces ever. It's really, it really has that grim dark vibe that takes me back to like 7th, 5th edition. You know, like that kind of really art style, which was like so insane and bizarre that it just really drawn you in. So yeah, hopefully we'll get to see more artwork like that coming from Games Workshop. All right, Chaperoonios, that is me done for another video. We'll just watch this trailer one more time as we say our goodbyes because I am super excited for this orc launch. I'm actually thinking of purchasing these and giving in to the green time. Xenos Rack? Is Xenos Rack about to happen? War Rack? Big Boss Rack? I don't know. What names can you think of? Um, but this is this this made the preview for me. It really did. I'm really looking forward to see what they do with the orcs now. Orcs have always been one of the, the best races for me in Warhammer 40,000, so I'm super hyped to see what happens with this. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, post it down below and we can have a nice little talk down there as we always do. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.